All right, so my next adventure of kicking the Caucasian, I figured I'd get into a little bit of Shores place. So my roommate Caleb and I, we decided to go fencing. When we first got there, we got into it right away. The instructor had me step into this jacket that could only be described as some type of sumo straight jacket. The material was very thick. It was like not your average jacket. Uh, it has this crazy little thing down here. It's no strap. And uh, I'm just gonna, I have to step one foot in there. I, I don't know why it was designed like that. The strap kind of went in between my legs, which was kind of weird. I actually need somebody to zip me up from the back. Now that I got my mask, it's time to go fencing. On guard. One of the first things that my instructor told me, he told me to put my feet into an, kind of like an L shape. I had to put them shoulder length apart. My dominant foot was in the front and the other foot was in, in the back. And this was to help me out with my balance. Another thing that he taught me was I had to bend my knees a little bit and straighten my back. I thought I was straightening my back, but maybe I have a crooked back. The next thing he taught us was like the the approach to holding your sword. You're supposed to hold your sword like inside where your torso is, but not you don't you shouldn't have your elbow right on your torso. You got to have your elbow extended a little bit. It's kind of hard to be able to move and you know, stick at the same time and not get stuck. He taught us different techniques. He taught us how to lunge, uh, which I felt that it would be in my favor that I could lunge because I'm you know, going to be more than likely longer than everybody. But he did tell me that you know, not always do tall people have the advantage when it comes to fencing. One of the things I didn't know is when you're playing in a fencing match, you're actually going up to five. There's no time limit. There is just you know, whoever gets stuck five times. Naturally, my roommate Caleb and I are super competitive against each other, so I wanted to have a duel to the death. Caleb, I challenge you to a duel. I accept your challenge. Cower before me, mortal. USA! Round one, fight! Two minutes into the match, I'm dying. These things right here, I take his head. It don't take long after you put that mask on and that heavy jacket on before you sweating your ass off. So let me tell you about the mask. The mask looks like it has not ever been clean ever. Like when you look inside the mask, I mean, it was so black in there, and the original color was supposed to be orange. Look how dirty that is right there. So I probably got tapeworm or something. That's going to develop in my face. See, this here's a white man's game. Well, you all were throwing spears and bow and arrows. We were just running around stabbing each other. Finally crafted instruments of death. He's a little nervous for this final round. It's four to three. One more point to win this. Now he's all making excuses like, oh man, signature, releases. Do anything he can to get out of the Thunderdome. Round two, fight! We had to take a few breaks. You lose. Deadly. I wanted to cut Caleb up like the jive turkey that he is. <laughs> hey Dave, even though it seems like a couple of points or a discrepancy, we'll give it to him. I'll chalk it up because he wanked. And uh, he had more practice to sword play than I had. 
All in all, fencing was a very fun experience, but you know, quite frankly, I'm ready for the big leagues. I'm ready for the swords, the real swords, like you bleeding. So why don't you follow me on the next episode of Kicking the Caucasian, where we get into some real swords play.